So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that we're teaching with google classroom so first of all click on start lab and if you want to enable the check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video i've shared the tutorial how you have to do now just open the workspace admin console incognito window okay and then just sign in using the credentials provided in the lab just click on next again come back here just select the pass and paste over here and then next it now here basically you have to just click on agree and continue just click on i understand now after that another pop-up will come you have to just agree the terms and conditions like this just follow the way as I am doing, you will get the full score on this lab without any issue. Now just click on accept terms of service. Now here basically a pop-up will come on the top that is verify domain. So I will tell you how you have to do. First of all, you have to just click on this. If you get this kind of thing, okay, just click on get setup. Once you click on it. It will take some time and after that click on the verify option now you'll be redirected to this particular page click on get started now make sure to click on this checkbox if you miss this checkbox you won't be able to complete the lab now just follow as i am doing now here it will take some time for the domain to get ready once it is done you have to close it and just refresh the admin page now once you see the admin page is like this you need to just come over here and wait for some time okay now let's proceed for all the tasks now just come over here and click on the organizational unit so here basically we have to create two organizational units so for the organizational units come over here to the task number one and here you can clearly see the organizational name so just copy the name here and paste over here and create it now another organizational unit is students so just copy it carefully from here paste over here and just create it now once you have created these two we have to just create users also so now just click go to the users and from here just click on add new user now for the username they have mentioned already from the lab instructions we have to just make it okay so just copy it carefully okay we don't have to use any other name only the name which is provided on the lab instruction now leave all these things as it is just click on add new user now we have to add another user okay with same name basically different name sorry so you have to just click on done done and then just add new user enter the first name and then the last name like this you have to just add it once this is done we have to make some modifications over here unlike the first user you have to click on this one and then click on the pencil icon and just update the organizational unit to students okay so just click on it done this thing is done just click on add new user so finally we have configured the new user and then we are successfully completed this particular task now just refresh the browser window and click on this students if you are able to see this then you are good to go if you are not able to see this wait for some time and just refresh the browser window now we are ready to perform the task number one basically what is the task number one we have to sign in using a teacher okay which is the teacher username that is can you guess you can see here we have to just sign in using the teacher username if you don't know just click over here just click on this classroom and from here we will just modify the account okay now here you don't need to do this thing just follow as i am doing in the video you will be able to complete the lab without any issue now from here just come over here uh, google workspace labs and just select this user okay from here you have to just click on the switch account and use another account now for the username come over here and just paste the username from here and for the password just reset it like this and regenerate and once it is generated just click on copy and just paste over here and just click on next and then you have to just click on i understand okay so it will take some time so wait for it it will take some time now here you have to just click on continue and select i am a teacher if you are unable to see this you have to just reload the browser again you have to create a class and if you are unable to see this also then you have to restart basically sorry restart not refresh the browser window now for the class name they have mentioned the class name on the lab instruction itself you have to just click on the check my progress for task number two and for the class name just paste over here 
so just paste the class name and just create it now here we don't have to make any modifications as of now right now here you can see all these things are correctly matched if you want to view you can just check the streams classrooms and classwork people and grades option if you want to just explore it how does the classroom work now just check the class check my progress basically it will take some time here they have clearly mentioned it may take some time now generate the meet link over here just generate the meet link and here you can read all the instructions like what what each tab does what is the function and here they have clearly mentioned it may take time so just wait for some time and then check the score meanwhile also refresh the browser window over here if you want to and here you can see all these things are available over here on this particular lab Now after 2 to 3 minutes you can just see you, if you try to check the score you may get the score without any issue. After that we have to move to the next step. Now let's move to the next step. If you want to just set up the stream settings so here we have to just update some of the settings. Okay. So just stay tuned and just follow as I am doing. Come over here and here you can see the stream setting is here. Just click on it. Here just click on the stream settings. Come over here and here you can see in general students can only comment update it like this and in the grading section we have to just turn on the grading section come over here and here you can see this option is we have to select okay so what we have to select in this particular option let me share you so just come over here and to enable this checkbox you have to just come over here and just select total points now it is enabled once it is enabled you have to just click on the save button and finally it is successfully saved now here you have to make an announcement post so what announcement you have to make you can just type anything i think so but i will recommend as i am doing just follow it from here so here they have mentioned any message so it will work so just type it like this and just post it okay now the message is already posted over here and now the next thing is that you have to just if you want to view the peoples you have to just come over here and just invite the people for the people username come over to the user section in the admin console click on the student click on alex miller and from here just copy this username you can see over here the username is mentioned over here just carefully copy it place over here and just send an invitation once you have done this the student's list is updated you can refresh the browser if it is not showing over here now from here you have to just sign in with the student id now come over here and click on classroom again now new page will be opened over here now just click on switch account now here use another account and for the username just copy it like this next come over here and just reset the password now just copy from here and paste over here like this and then next and then click on i understand it will take some time so wait for it and here basically this time we have to just click on continue and select i am a student now here you have to just click on join so finally we have completed this particular task now what is happening basically here the lab may take time to update the score so you need to wait for some time okay so just wait for two to three minutes and you'll be done with the lab guys so this is how we completed the lab they have mentioned if you are still unable to get the score wait for some time and one more important thing is that for other skill badges lab free courses and pre-assessment skill badges all things are present on the channel just check the description box of this video also do like the video and subscribe the channel and share it among your friends and family members who are participating in the google cloud campaign So finally after waiting for 3 to 4 minutes the task has been completed and finally we are done with the lab guys. Do like the video and let's meet in another lab. If you have any queries you can let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys have a great day.